Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. My name is Rendog, and this is my starter base. Uh, I mean, when I say starter base, I mean starter mound with, with the chicken head slapped on top of some crafting tables at like name on a sign. I mean, yeah, it, it's not exactly a base, but it's going to be a base. <laughs> this is the Ren Mound. That's what I've called it. I had a bit of inspiration when I was looking around this area trying to find somewhere to live. There was this little mountain over here, and for some reason my brain said, Hey Ren, why not build a tower in the middle of the mountain? And, uh, well, that's what I've been doing for the last uh, hour or so, getting this ready. We're going to make this tower kind of high, and the idea is, of course, that in episode zero, I did die, which means I am now a reaper on the server. And, I don't know, I kind of want to make a menacing tower that looks over the Hermitcraft server. I can stand up there on top of my tower and look for a victim somewhere out in, on the Hermitcraft server. Because, to be honest, I don't really want to be read for much longer. I would like to demise a hermit ASAP. So, yeah, we're going to make a scary tower. That's going to be our base. Um, but, yes, guys, welcome back to episode one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed episode zero. My goodness, what a marathon that was, hey? Indeed. Incredible fun was had all around, and I want to take a moment to say a big thank you to uh, to Iskel, to Stress, to Mumbo, and to Hypno for an absolutely brilliant time. If you guys uh, watched through the entire thing, I thank you very much. I appreciate it. And even if you only got halfway through or something, or even just 10 minutes through, and now you're back again, I do appreciate it very much. And uh, a big welcome to all of the new viewers who might be arriving here. Um, from other hermits. I do hope you enjoy your stay on my a channel on YouTube. And if you like it, if you enjoy hanging out with this weird South African, do consider sticking around and following me here on YouTube and on Twitch. We're going to have a, a brilliant season. Speaking of brilliant, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening around this area uh, to try and bring you up to speed as to where we are. The spawning pool, you know, that, that puddle of lava where everybody spawned is somewhere over there. Um, we've got the hillock is somewhere over there. I think you can actually see some of the hillock blocks over there. And then uh, the ravine that we actually went down with uh, the crew in <laughs> in episode zero is right here. So I thought this was a pretty good place to build a base, you know, right next to where we died as a tribute to my noobness, I suppose. And yeah, it really looks like there's some stuff happening out there. I don't know who this belongs to. It looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I know this is Iskal, because Iskal and I had a bit of a chat a little bit earlier this morning. I'll show you guys that footage in a, a little bit later in the episode. But um, yeah, it looks like we got a couple neighbors, which is pretty sweet. And I'm not 100% sure if I want to live here. I mean, i got to be honest, I've never made a base out of a mound before. But, you know, there's a first time for everything, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, I thought we would get started in today's episode trying to get a few resources, trying to get ourselves back up to speed with the other hermits because we died in the um, co-op caving company adventure in episode zero. We, of course, didn't get any of the loot, which was very unfortunate, but I am very pleased that Jevin gave us this pickaxe and this sword of the diamond varieties. That's helped me catch up a little bit this morning. I've been collecting some building blocks and some resources and stuff, but I thought we'd come back down here to the cave and see if anything got left behind. There might be some juicy loot down here that we can procure, because I doubt anyone will actually come back here again. <laughs> <laughs> There's some weird stuff happening down here. It's, it's kind of creepy, to be honest. But, um, ooh, it does look like there is some useful materials that we might be able to make use of already down here. Okay, you know what? This is pretty good. We'll just yoink some of this stuff. We got ourselves some armor again. I mean, it's, you know, it's just a hat and some pants, but it's better than nothing. Uh, anything in here? A bunch of deep slate. I think I might use some deep slate in building our tower today. So I will yoink that gladly. Uh, the rest is kind of meh, I guess. Some wool for a bed. We'll plant some saplings around the Ren Mound. Cook some salmon. I mean, it, look, it's not the greatest haul, but it's definitely better than nothing. Behold, everybody. A wild stress monster in her natural habitat. No doubt doing an introduction or an outro in F5 mode, completely oblivious to her surroundings. Do we dare go and interrupt whatever stress is doing right now? Yes, yes, I believe we do. Let's go interrupt stress and find out what's going on over there. That is the face of Ren. <laughs> you are you are interrupting my introduction. 
That's what that face is. I wasn't doing an introduction. I was tapped out. I'm like, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't, I could not help myself. I saw you F5ing and I was like, okay, I'm going to interrupt her. Definitely. <laughs> so sorry about good. that. <laughs> no, it's fine. What's going on here, by the way? I logged on this morning and saw all of this. This is yeah. awesome. Well, I saw that we had some peeps around here. I'm assuming that's you. Over yeah, there? that's that's the rain mound. I'm, I'm over living over there. there. Look. Where? Those trees. Oh, just you the splodge. The, big spruce? <laughs> the splodge yeah. of trees. The, the splodge is me. Yes. <laughs> Your base is a spruce tree. Well, no. <laughs> I found the spruce, and the, as I, I planted it. Um, I see the foundations of a house <laughs> over there. Okay. Oh no, that no no, Ren, that's a trapped zombie. Oh right. Yeah. Fine. Um, you can go and say hello if you want. Just don't murder him. I need him. <laughs> I no, it's it's fine. It's the only murdering that's going to happen is from from and by me. <laughs> I was going to say you got a red. Uh, yeah. Red name. Karanis I do have a red name. to say hello the other day. And, uh, oh, oh, you did? Yeah, I noticed you don't have much on. armor on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will put the sword away. There we go. Never mind. This is going to go over here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I thought I'd do uh, like a communal thing. And rather than it being an eyesore, mm -hmm. I thought I'd uh, do something that's kind of pretty. This is beautiful. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you. I'm okay, going to do well, some vegetables. Yes, we are neighbors then. Because, like, I mean, yeah, we're we literally in eyesight. And I think Iskar's over yeah. there. He said yeah, hello to me this yeah. morning. Uh, so that's yeah, pretty cool. A, did he show you the skeddy spawner? Yeah. That's actually yeah, kind of awesome. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That is ridiculously good. It's amazing. Look, I, st I need to kill someone at some point, which is, you know, unfortunate. Right. The thing is, though. <laughs> I should probably not kill the neighbors because that's no. never a good look. I was going to say, yeah, just um, stay yeah. away, Ren. All right. I've just made something very pretty. Yeah. And something that will um, help give you a full belly. Um. True. <laughs> True. Okay. You're immune. You're immune Thank from you. death. I've... I appreciate it. Ooh, what's going on over there? Where? On that mountain. Look. I don't see nothing on a mountain. There's like a pillar thing. Oh, a pillar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, Cleo's in that uh, in that village. What? That's her stuff. That's her campfire. Yeah. I went over there the other day to look at some geezers. So Cleo's over there. There's so many hermits here. This is I awesome. I know. It's amazing. And I've just spotted there's a farm over there. Where? Wait, where? Over, over the water. Look, that way. Yeah. I okay. don't know who that is, though. Who's responsible? Okay, we have to keep an eye out on the server today, then. Just... <laughs> Yeah, I will do. Because this is like less less people I can kill. Like the more neighbors I have, the less <laughs> targets I get. You'll Cause... have to venture far and wide. I don't want to venture far. <laughs> I just want to stay in my mound where it's safe. <laughs> You've got no one to be scared of. I mean, you kind of scared me today. Not going to lie. What? A bit what did I do? You literally come up to me and smacked me <laughs> one. What? <laughs> <laughs> you put on your armor so fast. I've never seen anyone suit up at like instant speed. It was very intimidating, Strace. That's a first. Well, listen, you're, you're welcome in my mound whenever. Oh, for a thanks, cup of tea Ray. or whatever. <laughs> I Wait, that didn't. It. That didn't come out right. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going right. to I'm gonna get back to it. Bye, Strace. <laughs> Well, well, well. Looks like our targets for demise are diminishing by the minute, everyone. <laughs> Turns out we've actually got quite a few neighbours around here, and I don't think demising neighbours is a good idea, especially if I want to live in the mound peacefully over the next couple of months. So, I don't know, maybe there's a way I can convince these neighbours to help me demise another hermit somewhere else on the server instead. I don't know. I'll think about it over the next couple of days. We'll come up with some sort of dastardly shenanigan and we'll get it done. Uh, but anyway, speaking about dastardly sh shenanigans, take a look at this. While I was building the foundations of the Mound Tower, I discovered a rather juicy cave network underneath 
this whole area. And I think this bit of cave actually connects up to that huge cave that we explored with the caving co-op caving company in, in episode zero. However, there's quite a big section here that is unexplored. And maybe we spend the next few minutes or so down here collecting a few resources. I need some more coal. I need some building blocks for the tower. And uh, hopefully we can get that tower built today. That would be really sweet. But I did want to take a moment to say a very special hello to all of you who are old school Rendog viewers. Hey guys. And who I'm referring to here is those of you guys who have been watching me since all the way back in the day when we had our old animated logo introduction. Do you remember that? The red cog and bone and pickaxe thing? You may have noticed at the beginning of this episode that old animation is now back again, which is kind of awesome and kind of exciting. So big shout out to the OG Rendog viewers. Hope you enjoyed that bit of nostalgia flashback there. But there's a good reason why we are reverting back to our old logo, guys. And it's mostly due to the fact that I have decided to change my editing software uh, this year. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm a man who it tries to embrace change as much as possible. I think change is a great way to keep life exciting. And, you know, life goes by real fast, as we all know. And I think to get the most out of it, you should be open to change and um, changing things up here and there to introduce yourself to new things and learn new skills and acquire new brain pattern wave neurological things that I know absolutely nothing about, but apparently it's a good thing to do. Uh, so yeah, this year I decided to try and teach myself a new skill, which is the skill of using Adobe Premiere as my editing software. This of course means that I needed to go all the way back to the drawing board not quite, but uh, up until now, since 2011, I've been using Sony Vegas to edit. And even though the programs are fairly similar, uh, I have had to spend the last few weeks, uh, in fact, most of January, learning how to use Premiere so that I could make these videos. You might have noticed that the videos so far in this series have been quite bare bones when it comes to the editing. None of my usual editing flares. It's all very simple editing. That's because I don't know what I'm doing with Premiere. I'm still learning how to use it. So <laughs> it certainly made the videos a lot, uh, a, a lot cleaner, I guess, in some ways. You know what? I'd love to get your guys' opinion. What do you guys think about these newly edited videos so far? Do you like it? Do you like the fact that there is not really much editing at all? Not out of choice. Uh, once again, it's because I can't actually edit in Premiere yet. But yeah, please do let me know what you guys think of the new editing style. Um, that would be kind of interesting. But anyway, talking about the logo again. So, interesting story. When I first started making YouTube videos, and I first started using Sony Vegas uh, as my editing software, um, I challenged myself to do something difficult and I decided to try and make an animated logo. And that was the very first logo that uh, started to be on my YouTube channel back in the season two days of my Let's Play series. And that logo was edited by myself and it was done in Sony Vegas and I did this to challenge myself to learn the program, right? Give yourself something difficult to do, force yourself to learn it. And that's usually a, a good way to jump in the deep end and get your head around something that's quite complicated. So this time around, I decided to do the same thing. Let's switch to Adobe Premiere and I set myself a challenge. Let's reanimate my original animated logo in Premiere. Now this is all pretty boring uh, video editing information, but what I will tell you is that the animation techniques of Premiere and Vegas are quite similar, but also very different. And uh, it's been quite a challenge learning how to animate in Premiere, but I did it. I think the new slash old logo looks absolutely awesome. I'm in love with it as much today as I was 10 years ago and I am delighted that it is back on the channel. By the way, there's a little story behind the logo too. Uh, it's a little bit sappy <laughs> and a little bit cringe, but I'll tell it anyway, because this animated logo actually means more to me than it just being my brand or whatever, right? Uh, this logo is made up of the three most important things that make the Rendog channel slash experience possible. Number one, the bone represents myself, the pickaxe represents Minecraft, and the cog that turns around both of these things represents you guys. And the entire thing cannot exist without all three of the things existing. 
And that is essentially what the logo uh, is supposed to be about. So the animation, each of these things comes in one at a time because of course each of these things is a separate entity. And once they all come together in the final slam, that final bash, that's when the cog starts turning and everything is in synchronization and everything is working perfectly. So yeah, that's the uh, <laughs> the philosophy behind the logo. I know it's mega cringe, but it's fine. Um, I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, get stuck into season 10, guys. I am just having such a great time so far. The sun is out today in England. It is shining on my face through my office. And I honestly feel like in this very moment, I'm doing exactly what I was meant to be doing, which is entertaining you guys out there and producing my own form of artistic um, creative output, even if it is just an idiot playing Minecraft on camera. Um, but yeah, welcome guys to season 10 and welcome to another year on the Rain Dog channel. It's the next day in real life, everybody. I'm back on the server bright and early this morning, and I have discovered potentially another new neighbor who has moved into this area. This is super exciting. There's the Ren Mount over there behind the trees that have now grown and have created a little jungle for ourselves. There is, a, yeah, a little farm that has sprouted. I see some ladders. This is definitely a base. I don't know who this belongs to, but I guess we will find out over the next coming days. We should probably go around at some point and give out cake or something to our neighbors, you know, try and create some good rapport. I mean, we're red right now, right? Which means that people probably don't trust us very much. I kind of want to let my neighbors know that I will not be damaging or hurting them in any way. And yeah, maybe we should, uh, maybe next episode, go say hello to everybody or something. Uh, but yes, take, take a look at this, guys. I planted all those saplings that we found yesterday. Got a beehive out of one of them, which is pretty cool. Uh, here it is. And there's a lot of sunflowers over here. These bees are super happy, just buzzing around doing their thing. And uh, well, I'm excited to be back on the server this morning because I want to work on the, uh, the tower today. I want to get our demise tower up into the air. And I spent a little bit of time last night gathering some resources. As you can see, we are now flush with a whole bunch of andesite and uh, a whole bunch of stone also, which I've been smelting down. Get us up to, got us up to about 21 levels, which is great. Next episode, we'll do some enchanting, I guess, too. But yeah, for now, I'd like to focus on getting this tower built. And honestly, I don't really have any uh, solid plans what this is going to look like. I want it to look menacing. That's the only criteria I have for this at the moment. And I kind of want to do something like um, using these andesite blocks to create, I don't know, sort of square boundaries on the edge. Maybe we can do something like this, right? Where we can create some andesite indents like this. And uh, then we'll come up like a so. And then every block up or so will create like another indent like this. Something like that could be pretty cool. Going all the way up. I don't know how big I want this thing to be. I also don't want this to be stone bricks completely. I think we definitely want to mix this up with some smooth stone, maybe get uh, some just straight up andesite going at some point also. And uh, this should hopefully create some nice variations in texture and patterns uh, across this thing. And uh, I got to say, I'm very happy to be back crafting again in Minecraft. It has been a while since I just did some good old fashioned block placing in this game, focusing on aesthetics, focusing on making uh, everything look pretty awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna have a, a lot of fun with this tower, I think. I'm just gonna chill this morning. I got myself a delicious cup of coffee ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see if we can get this tower looking pretty decent, I guess, for a, for a starter base. We don't have to go super fancy, but I don't know, something like this, all the way up, uh, nice and high, maybe 20 blocks or something. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see what I can cook up. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> you must excuse my voice. It What's is still wrong? after three days, still not better. Nothing is wrong. It's oh. just my voice is. I'm st <laughs> still not have the best. That's of okay. Voices. Welcome to the Ren Mound. 
Oh, it's Sister Redmond. This is oh, that's great. I was just saying because I I have that beautiful totem pole over there. <laughs> oh, the oh, that netherite <laughs> monstrosity. Yeah, I wish it was netherite, but the netherite. I mean, yes. netherite, bro. I thought I thought it was a prank. <laughs> oh, I I guess it is pretty ugly. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, that was that was me at like you know two a.m. No uh -huh. voice, just like. Maybe I believe here, but you know what? I, I want to show you something, Ren. Oh, I mean, I was since just. We, uh, okay, sure. Si Lead si the since way. we are neighbors, yeah. since we are neighbors, yeah. I invite you. Wait, we are neighbors? Okay. Oh, we are. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm thinking I shall. <laughs> I don't know yet, okay? I have a few starter places. Okay. But. Yeah. But uh, something. I found something here that raised the value of this area Ooh. immensely. Okay. And uh, and yeah, check this out. Oh, you got a farm yeah. and everything here. Oh, is, okay, nice. Thanks, Steve. There are some taters here. Can I have some of these? Yeah, yeah, of course. You should fortune them now. Here you go. Lots of taters. Oh. Lots of taters. There it is. Okay. Yep. I mean, a farm isn't exactly the most exciting thing ever, but thanks, bro. Thanks. No, no, check, check this out. No, no, no. Wait, what? Ram, ram. Hello. This thing. Oh, Look, there's more. The sign. Oh wait, our read wonderful hermit creation. Also, hello. Yeah, 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 okay, go down. Oh, there's a down? You're already... Oh, wait. Yeah, you're, all, you're already... <laughs> Listen, dude, I've just woken up. I, my brain I'm isn't sorry. working. I'm sorry, okay. I'm, I'm early burned. Okay, we go down here. <coughs> yeah, go down here. Wait, wait, is this a demise thing? I mean, you're already a reaper, so to be fair, oh, I have God. nothing to gain. From That's that. true. <laughs> okay, so there's no... Okay. Dude, I've literally just woken up, okay? you got to give the brain a, a chance to catch yeah, up with things. It, it, yeah. Ooh. Start the engine. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hey, no yep. ways, dude. And it's the best kind. It's just a spawner? Just stand and look. Yeah, just, just add a look in the window. Wait for it. I hear a zombert. Yeah, the zomb the, we hate the Zombert. We don't like the Zombert. His name is his name is Conrad. It's just, uh, <laughs> annoying. Conrad is the worst. <laughs> Conrad is the worst indeed. I'd like but to end him. Oh, they're queuing up. It's there a it Skellingtonican. Uh, I know. So feel free. Oh, this to, is amazing. To use it as a neighbor, and uh, and yeah, get as many bones as you want. Where do the XP balls come out? They come out where you're standing. So you have to kill them yourself. They are one hit. When they come down here. Oh, they, this is the little here. area here. Okay, I end oh, there. Hello, Skellington. There got him. Yep. Dude, I got it a bone. A Look at this. Oh, they, there it is. There, That's a very special bone. You should frame it. I got two bones, so I'm not sure which one to frame. This is awkward. That's, 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 that's on you, honestly. That, just... That's on you. Dual <laughs> wielding bones. I love it. <laughs> Aha. This is pleasantly surprising what an incredible view from up here my goodness i just came to the top of this mountain to have a look at my progress on the ren mound tower it looks so cool over there but can we take a moment just to have a look across the hermacraft season 10 lands on the side of the server it is so awesome my goodness absolutely epic we're kind of in the middle of this whole area here with quite a few bases sort of dotted around us, which is quite cool. And uh, we've got Stress over there. There's Stress's farm. By the way, there is, I think, Azuma is doing business over there. I saw him up on top of these things today, working on what looks to be a really cool build. Uh, spawn is over there. There is the hillock, and there is the spawn pool. And this, I guess, is our valley where we now live. I came up here to have a look over the top to see if there was anything interesting on this side, but it looks like there's just ocean out here and uh, some interesting looking landscape and stuff that we'll go for an explore on live stream or something at some point. And I think there's someone else here too. Look, take a look at this. There's another neighbor, it looks like it. Well, potentially. Um, so quite a few hermits around here, which is really, really cool. And I'm looking forward to uh, shenaniganing with uh, these fine human beings over the course of the next few months. Anyway, the Ren Mound Tower. What do you guys think? I think it's looking super sweet. I made it a, a little, maybe a little bit taller than I originally planned to, but I quite like how it sort of looms over there in the skyline of this, this zone. And uh, I just added the R and the D into each side of the thing because before that it was kind of just a gray 
pole, basically, <laughs> in the middle of the thing. And I think uh, those letters kind of add like a, a sort of hieroglyphic feel to it, which looks pretty cool. And it does feel quite menacing, which I suppose was my original plan to make it feel a little bit like a demise tower where I could spy down upon the uh, the victims that still need to get fragged on the server. All the names in white, by the way, are uh, undead or unkilled hermits. And by the way, I just spent the last two hours trying to kill some hermits with Corallus. Things did not go well. I'm going to put all of that footage at the end of this episode for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a closer look at the tower, guys. There's quite a few little features that I wanted to show you that look pretty cool. And there's one last thing, actually, that I would like to do to finish this build off. I will need some obsidian, uh, or deep slate, rather, tiles and whatnot to get this finished. But um, yeah, so we've got this very tall tower. I would like to design some sort of a way to get to the top. And I'm thinking probably water vator is the best way to go. And, uh, well, we do have those RD letters on the outside of the tower, which are filled with these deep slate tiles. And those deep slate tiles are actually in the center of the tower. So what we would need to do uh, in order to finish this off is basically build up a four-way wall of deep slate tiles all the way around like this. And that should give us a nice central column of water that we can use to get all the way to the top of the tower. All right, water vator almost done. Just need to add one more source of flowing at the very top of this thing. And uh, we should probably turn this water into solid water sources at some point so that we can swim up it faster. But for now, I just want to get to the top of the tower if I can and uh, take a look at the view from up here. And yeah, there's been some derping happening here. Hold on, let's fill this in and finish it off. And there we go, beautiful. So we've got a way to get up and down, and we now have a pretty glorious view over the Hermocraft server from up here. Very nice. I mean, a couple of shadow errors here and there, but a complete view of, I guess, our new home on the Hermocraft server. I mean, I, I guess I guess we're living here, guys. It, I feel like we might as well. This tower's pretty awesome, and it looks like we've got a bunch of really cool neighbors. I mean, I think we just stick around here and start building some sort of a base. I I don't know, maybe a big castle, maybe something completely different. We've got a bunch of space back here, and Iskal looks like he started to work on his base there, so maybe we go this way instead. Our base can head in this direction, maybe a little bit forward. We've got more than enough space here to make a cool base, and yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling this. Th this feels like a great place to live. I, I think... I think we might have just sealed the deal, everybody. This is going to be our home in Season 10, right here on the Ren Mound, which right now is just a giant tower of, uh, of death beaming across the server, <laughs> trying to find any unlucky victims, which there are currently none in any direction. Speaking of victims, I've got some bonus footage for you guys now. Karanis and I spent an hour or so trying to hunt down some of these white named hermits, and, uh, well, things didn't exactly go to plan, but we had some laughs, we had some cries, and we had some derps, all of which I would love for you all to share as the rain pours down upon us here in our new home on the server. Guys, thank you very much for watching my first episode of Season 10. I really do hope you have enjoyed it, and I appreciate your support, um, and I appreciate you coming and watching my videos and giving up a bit of your life to come and share my journey on Hermacraft. Thank you so very much. And yeah, if you are new around here from maybe uh, somewhere else, another hermit, maybe you're trying Rendog out for the first time. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do consider subscribing and coming and checking me out on Twitch also, where we will be doing weekly live streams here from the Hermacraft server. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Over to Corrales for some dirt bases. Hey, we see you in episode two very shortly. Bye, guys. Papa K, where you at, brother? There you are. Ren, you even get, got Hello. the bry going. Hello, I got Hi, the bry man. going, dude. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Uh, do you have a do you have a uh, a hole for a horse? <laughs> Let me just dig one. I will fill. I will. I will fill it up. There we go. I can't afford that. Um, yet, okay, so so yeah, it's a little bit makeshift. There we go. Only on Amazing. Minecraft do you get asked the question: Do you have a hole for a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. What's up with...
What's up with this beautiful face of yours? <laughs> What's happening, my friend? Come, come and have a braai with me. Come and have a braai oh, with me. Oh, man, I've missed this so much. Here we go. This is amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, just potatoes. Tower, just potatoes. Well, it's, it's all right. Yeah. This tower is like a beacon of light. A beacon of hope, I would say. Uh, It's more like a beacon of death, to be honest. Uh, well, well I, I like it. I made it like oh, yeah, really I, tall I so that I could... Mind. I could look over the land to find victims to kill. Uh, oh, you're red. Who, who killed you? Oh, you just kind of died as, as me, right? I died. I, I died myself. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I did the same. I high fived. I high fived uh, Iron Golem. Which oh, is a super uh, bad idea. Mm, that's. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. I, I no won't ask hugs. any questions. Like, why? Why Why you do this? Why? B brain fart at like <laughs> 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, by the way, there's a couple much. of, of yeah. white names online right now. Do you yeah, see this in tab? Yeah, I've yeah. tried to kill XB quite a few times. Okay. Uh, but, but, but I fail each and single one of them. So if okay. you want to kind of tag team somehow, maybe, because mm. me, me and XB are about to hit on an adventure. Um, Ooh. You are. Maybe right. you can sneak behind somehow and. I could maybe and, follow. And, oh, oh. What kind maybe of adventure are we talking joined. about? Where are you going? Uh, we're going. What would that be? That direction. Let me see here. We're going west to, to head to like this dark oak forest, okay. which is a little bit mm -hmm. somewhere over there in the distance. Mm -hmm. Just to get some mushrooms and such, mm -hmm. mushroom stems. But now Wells joined. Now that changed Ooh. the ballpark a little bit. I mean, XP is probably mm. quite suspicious of you. Oh, he is. He, he yeah. Is, he is, he is. I've been trying to kill him a couple of times, and he knows. <laughs> Wells, on the other hand, he's just joined. Where he's probably Wells just woken up. Dude, he's like half asleep. Like, now's the time to strike, you know, I would say. Um, but how is the question? Ooh. Oh, I've, I've, got, I've, got a, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Uh, yeah. You know, I've got a makeshift uh, zombie spawner thingy with a little bubble vader and a drop. Okay, okay. What if, what if I lure him? Because obviously you jump down as a little like water puddle on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to remove that, but I'm going to move a little bit away. I'm going to block that off with some uh, some obsidian. And then you drop an amulet on his face from above when he's stuck in the little hole. What about <laughs> that? Would that work? I mean, that will definitely work. I mean, that is crazy enough to work. Definitely. I don't have an anvil yet, though. Good. But I can cook one up uh, real quick. No, no, no. I, I, well, yeah, I can contribute. I have a little bit of iron on me. Okay, let's Two make some blocks irons. to be precise. Okay. There we go. So we're going to get him you. over there to your spawner? Is that what you're thinking? I mean, we, we could kind of like, I could kind of go over there and then like be like, hey, hey, Wells, how you doing? And like, if you want to, you know, let me show you a little around the thingy if you want to get set up with enchantments and such. Okay. okay. Not sure how far in he is, though. He might be having everything. That's a good question. Mm. I mean, it, we, we'll, we'll have to mm. scout it out, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know where the spawner is, by the way? I don't know. I actually, I have no idea. Okay, Ren, that is super obvious. There we go. Hide it away. Right now, you look mm -hmm. super intimidating in all of that bling. Not going to lie, dude. You look super scary. There we go. That's better. Now you look like a noob. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm wearing <laughs> a chicken head, dude. Like, yeah. You're just naked. This is perfect. No let, one will ever suspect let, anything. Let, let me just borrow a few planks over here. I'm sorry, whoever okay. this is. Okay, dude, uh, listen. I'm going to do... Listen, K-Dog, we need uh, to uh, uh. channel some theater kid energy right now, okay? you Because okay. Wells is pretty good at this game, right? So we're kind of running around uh, a little go. bit, like, confused, you know, not really know what we're doing, but we're going to... We're trying to show everybody the spawner so that everyone can start getting enchanted, you know, this sort of thing. Okay, okay. This is yeah. the energy we need, okay? The, the energy we need, okay, okay. Noob but energy. You need to win. Noob energy. You, you need to know where the spawner is, okay? Come on, okay. come on. Okay. Come on <laughs> I got, I got a wooden sword. Nobody's gonna suspect this. No, no, nobody. You do not look like a killer. Uh, Hundred percent the opposite, in fact. So, like, let's say, let's say I would do this. All right, I'm yep. gonna have my my wooden sword. I'm gonna jump down like this. Yep. Come on, come on, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! And then. <laughs> no, 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 not here. Okay, this is the wrong spot. This is the wrong spot. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It needs yes, to be yes, one yes, block yes. forward, right? One block forward. 
Oh, yes, one block forward. Yeah. You know what I'm yes, going to do as it's well? It's perfect, dude. It's perfect. Yeah, look, look, like this. Boom. Perfect. Boom. And then you just... Pew, done it. We got it. Oops. Perfect. Breaking it. Only thing is, only mm. thing is, I'm a little bit worried that he's going to be having... Uh, yep. Good can, gear as well. I think he can dig through these walls. Do we want to like do something about... Do you want to obsidianify these walls too? And the you floor? I do have... Actually, I do I do have like... Yep. This. You, how many? How, how many did you did you use? Two. Do you have any? I've got two, I've got two left. That should be enough. He can still he dig down though. Bad. Oh, it doesn't matter if he digs down though, right? Down is fine. We just don't want him digging down, forward gonna, hmm. or around. I think he might get crushed anyhow. Who put a bed over here? That's amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> finger, but let, me, let me just see here. Maybe we do have some obsidian about. But I don't Dude, think is we this do. is this is this your place right now, or, you, or did you just make this for? Uh, no, 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 this is just sort of like a... Uh, yeah, Communal this is just sort of like... Communal yeah, thing. pretty much, yeah. Nice. So that's going to be like that. We trap okay. him. He could dig down. Do you... But that is a slab. Okay, you know what? What if we hide that? Is that a slab? I think that's a slab. So I'm going to hide one obsidian yes, below there as well. Perfect. Like this. And then the slab. So even if he digs the slab... Yes, it's perfect, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, and okay. then, and then we just... Bam. Yes, that's all you need and to do. Like, one block. He, he got, he, he got one move. block. Oh, and you get the anvil, right? Okay, dude. What? So, okay. So how do we? What yeah. if he's already all enchanted and stuff? Here's what I'm thinking, right? You go, we uh -huh. go to him. You with the wood, sword, Let and you're just... like, and you can say something like, "Well, I've died, and I've lost all my levels, and um, I was hoping that you could you could lend me some levels, and do some enchanting for me." Right? Oh, we you do know this? what? That might actually work. Yeah. Also, I don't need this. <laughs> Dude, uh, you look uh, so uh, stupid uh, in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get some more crab gear. There we go. <laughs> you look so, you look ridiculous. <laughs> you just wait. I need some booties, booties as well. It's okay. like a pants. Yeah, I, I got, got some pants. boots. We had a ton See, of I don't have to try too here. hard to. Uh... Oh, no, look at this. Oh, there is stuff. Yeah, there's oh, lots of stuff here. I don't yeah, have to try too hard to be a this. noob because, you know, it's, that's basically my reputation anyway. So it's fine. I just have to be me. I'm just worried, you know, you, you're like, you've got a reputation as being pretty good at this game. So you need to, uh, you know, you need to get your theater skills on, man. <laughs> me, me being good at this game. Look you at gotta you, dude. be kidding me. Look at the state of you right now. You look like a zombie. <laughs> 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 I can't see myself because I got the like invisible armor thing. Uh, oh God. Uh, okay, let me it's just perfect. do this, this, and that. It's okay, perfect. okay. So, dude, this is perfect. Yes. Okay. Then, okay, let's let's just make sure this is going to work a hundred percent. All right, check it out. Um, so I'll be down okay. here, like yes. like a so. Okay. Boom. Now we, I need a practice run. Okay. So you've you've just arrived. I hear you talking. You guys yeah, fall down the on, hole. XP. I come up here, anvil out, uh, boom! I jump down, anvil drop, splat, victory. Dead. 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 Stone cold dead. Super dead. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> it's gonna work, dude. Okay. It's, it's okay. gonna work. You know what? I, okay. I think it's gonna work. I was trying to put it on the grass, just kind of to grow it. Not that I wanted to grow it, but, but I couldn't put it on the grass even. Right. So I was like, hey! X X XB, what you doing down there? Get, get up here, you silly goose. Oh. I think we failed. He, we failed, dude. I think we he failed. That was so quickly. Dang it, he XP. Why are you so die. smart, dude? Why are you so smart? <laughs> Wait a minute. What's going on, Dang there? XB. Uh, Try to grab the I can barely hear y'all, but no, it ain't happening.
Where are you? Oh, oh God. Okay, hold on. Jump, jump, jump. Let's go down. Pie. Dang it, XB. Why oh. are you so smart, dude? Oh. <laughs> It was the perfect such party, plan. Such a party pooper. Oh, was he was like, hey, plan. I'm going to go enchant. And, you know, the last time we were here, he pulled the water out from under me. Oh, so you went first this time to make sure they so didn't I do that? So I made sure I went first. Oh, dang it. We didn't think this <laughs> through, Grass. Okay. We need a next victim. <laughs> we need a new victim. If you, tell, if you tell anybody about this, your head will be rolling I down will here. stick your head at the top of my tower. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Wait, at the top? Isn't yeah. that a place of honor? Actually, that is. Yeah, that's a really good place. I'll stick it <laughs> below the tower where no one will ever see it. <laughs> Wait, isn't that where the treasure goes? Dang it! That is where the treasure goes. Dang it! I'm a Corrales. This was <laughs> a terrible <laughs> failure. We're terrible at killing. <laughs> I'm getting out of here, man. This was your idea. This was your idea. Come on, XB. Adventure time. The yeah. question is, where is Wells? Do we know where he lives? Because I, I thought he would have, he was close by. No, I don't. I don't really know where he lives. Um, I well, think it would be the perfect target. But because I don't think he's fully enchanted. I don't think he's like. I mean, he just got diamonds for the first time, right? So I don't think he's got anything. Hey, dude, he's got nothing. He is the perfect target. He will splatterate all over the bottom of that pit, dude. It'll be a glorious f frag, the most glorious of all the frags. Yeah, let's let's try. But okay. the thing is that do you, do you see okay. do you see those fern eyes over there? Do you sorry, see? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you just hit me in the face with a steak, dude. Outrageous. <laughs> um, Take some meat to the face. Yeah. Do you see Wait, those fern eyes over there, like on top yeah. of the hill? That's his like starter area. So oh. he, he's probably in those caves somewhere. Is what I'm thinking, hmm, right? Shall we? Shall we venture an adventure? But nah, both of oh. us coming is going to be too suspicious, right? So That's, that is very suspicious. Let me go over and check check out. Okay, dude. And, I tell uh, you what, if you find it, I message, I message you. I message you on the server, like private message you, straight off. Or yeah, or PM, or or just like the moment you see him, just type Wells in caps, yeah. in the like as if you're greeting him, like Hey Wells. Ah. See what I'm perfect. saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let Dude, me this makes me feel over. dirty, man. All this reapering makes me feel dirty. But, you know, you love to see it. <laughs> Let me see here. Whereabouts is it? It is... Here it is. Okay. So if you want to enchant or just grind some XP, you just mm -hmm. jump down over here. Uh-oh. No, Corrales! Nice try. No! What happened? <laughs> what happened? He crashed into place. No, Corrales! Oh, no! Not again. You're just uh, too slow. Nice too try. Too slow. Too <laughs> slow. Too slow. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. But let me just get that. It was so a no get, uh... it was a noble attempt. It was a noble attempt. <laughs> oh, dang it. It's the <laughs> stupid slabs <laughs> that did it, dude. It was the stupid slabs. <sighs> yeah, he just crouched into the Because the slab let like, him get no. underneath the block. Yeah. Oh. Why didn't it, why didn't we think about Well, this is our before. second failed murder. Uh well yeah, you know what it really it. was. <laughs> you know what it really was? It was the obsidian block. Yeah. Right here. That I was like, oh, oh, oh I'm I'm about to get an attempted murder uh, <laughs> I, I should yeah. you know that that's really what gave it away yeah. okay, okay so uh, yeah ren yeah ren watch out we need to remove that block there we go okay yeah oh there we go that's like better this. that's better hey, wells let, let's give it another go come on <laughs> one more try uh, for science uh, for, for science it's for science for science huh? yeah yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go back to my mining. Uh, Y'all, no, you no, guys no, have no, a nice no, day. No, 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 no,